What we've found is a very, very large elephant, everyone, and I've not turned the car off because he is in full must, and he was walking straight towards us. I, he's not showing any signs of overt irritation, but I'd just like to be able to move off if we have to. I think he's actually fine. I'm going to turn off so that he can just relax a little bit. There we go. He's got a hole in his ear, but he's not that hole-in-the-ear elephant that um, Taylor calls uh, Daryl. Oh, that's beautiful. He is massive. I'm a bit sad that we have this roof on. I'll just try and turn around. Sorry. Um, Julia, you say where would a huge elephant like this hide from a storm? He wouldn't. He'd have to just deal with it, I'm afraid. He wouldn't hide from it at all. Sorry, this road is very awkward to turn around in. Oh. <laughs> he's actually being quite confiding. But he's not going to be very tolerant of us making huge noise around him. We might just follow him a little bit down the road. You can see him watching us quite carefully. So, Julia, he wouldn't... He definitely wouldn't um, hide from the storm at all. He would have to just bear it. I mean, he's so big, there's very little that he could get underneath, if you know what I mean. And so you can see his skin is, looks like wet leather. It looks like the shoes I managed to leave outside by mistake. See, he's just listening to us. He's lifted his leg there. Let's keep going. And Christina, you're wondering if the air is smelling fresh after the storm. It is. I'm not sure it's the last of the rain that we're going to have. But yes, it absolutely is smelling fresh until right now. Because we've just come across, of course, the smell of his must. He is in full must, which means that he is leaking a great deal of green and noxious liquid. And that is very smelly indeed. I think we'll make it over this bump. I think we will. There we go. Now he is watching us quite carefully. I know it doesn't look like it, but every so often if you watch him, you'll see his head turning from left to right. Just to see. Oof. This is powerful. Cedar Point, you're wondering how big his foot is. That's got difficult to say. We're just going to stop here because he's listening to us. See him lifted his leg there? That foot, Cedar Point, is about two, well, one and a half feet long by one and a half feet either side. And then, just as he moves off, Vim is going to show you a spectacular view of the sun coming up. We'll ease past that. Isn't that gorgeous? There's still rain falling in the eastern horizon there. You can see it there through the trees. I'm just going to call this elephant in on the radio. Station's one very large elephant bull mobile in a easterly direction down Voyatella main axis towards quarantine. He is not an insubstantial fellow, this. Good, thanks, yours and you. That's just yours, who's arrived in Biffle's Hook. Look at all the mud on his back there. Uh, yours must have been at least 20 mils, I'm not sure at this stage. Right, we're just getting quite a lot of qu query here from um, from yours about the Inkohuma Pride. Uh, last seen yesterday on Triple M between Simbambili and uh, Voyatella. I'm not sure where they went from there. I think probably in Simbambili. Beautiful. Isn't he wonderful? Mm. 
Mm. Now, Alicia, you're wondering what it means to be in must. Uh, Alicia, I will tell you right now. Copy, thanks very much, yours. Yeah, no, I just gave an update of an elephant bull going south. Uh, all right, a must is a an elephant's time of breeding. So this big bull is in a state of very high testosterone. It means that his uh, he's irritated, he's feeling tense, he's feeling a little bit kind of anxious and upset about things, and that's why he keeps turning towards us. Okay, copy, thanks. I'll go have a look there now. And I'm just going to tell you what you said once I've ex finished the must explanation here. And it means that he's looking and seeking females in estrus. So he's trying to smell out the herds. Estrus females will give off a scent of estrus. I don't know what that smells like, but he does. And so he'll be tracking herds with females that are in estrus. Now, Jors has just told me that he found a mvula at Sydney's dam yesterday. And so we're going to head off that way once we've left this elephant. We'll go and see if we can't have a look and find my old pal Mvula. See now eventually he's going to get irritated and turn around and I don't want him to do that so we're just going to give him some space. He will hopefully go on to not quite far enough along. Isn't he lovely? Magnificent tusks. All right, we're going to stay with this fellow. He's going towards the tent, and so I think we should probably hand you over to the tent and the great Byron Sarau.